Um, so as our main claim, affirmative action creates diverse discrimination, which is why we want to keep Prop 209 in effect. Prop 209 is a proposition that amended the state constitution to prohibit public institutions from considering race, sex, or ethnicity. By keeping Prop 209, students that qualify will be able to get into the higher education that they deserve, and equality will continue to strive. Um, in response to Kim's claim, affirmative action pre preferences don't stop discrimination. Preferences are discrimination. Minority group status should not be used as a factor in hiring or college in hiring or college admissions decisions. To do so creates unfair preferences for women and non-whites who may not be qualified for the position they seek. The best way to enforce anti-discrimination no, laws fairly is and stop the use of racial and gender preferences. Um, principles of merit, not uh, principles principles of merit, not affirmative action, should determine the status of an individual. As I mentioned, or merit is not an absolute value, but there is a strong prima uh, prima um, facie reasons for awarding positions on a on its basis. And it should enjoy a weight, a weightly presumption in our social practices. The the case for mediocrity has two pillars. One pillar is a deontological argument, which holds that we ought to treat people as ends and not merely means. By giving people what they deserve as individuals, rather than as members of groups, we show respect for their inherent worth. If you and I take a test and you get 95% of the answers correct and I only get 50% correct, it would be unfair to you to give both of us the same grade, say an A, and even more unfair to give me a higher grade A plus than your B minus or B plus. Although I have heard cases where teachers have been instructed to race norm in grading, giving black and Hispanic higher grades for the same numerical scores. Most proponents of affirmative action stop short of advocating such a practice. The second pillar for meritocracy is utilitarian. In the end, we will be better off by honoring excellence. We want the best leaders, teachers, policemen, physicians, generals, lawyers, and airplane pilots that we can possibly produce in society. So our program should be to promote equal opportunity as such as in a free or as such as is feasible in a free market economy and reward people according to their individual merit. So hence prop two and nine must remain in effect.